Hi everybody. Today, I wanted to share with you a special type of art making called printmaking. Printmaking is a technique where you spread ink onto a surface, like a printing plate. And then you press that printing plate onto a piece of paper and it leaves a print. So this is a stamp that I've created of a fish. And when I press it to my paper, it makes a print. The cool thing about printmaking is that you can make the same print again and again and again. Things like fingerprints are examples of printmaking. Or if you step in mud and then track mud onto a floor, that's another, another example of printmaking. Today, I'd like to show you a fun way of printmaking. It's called mono prints, and mono means one. So rather than making a plate like this fish or a stamp, I'm going to paint on a surface and then press my paper directly onto that surface to make an image. Of course, the first step is to write my name and code on the back of my paper. Then I'm going to move my paper out of the way. On your desk, Mr. Rudiger drew a rectangle. Guess what? Today we get to paint directly onto the table. Because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I think my first print is going to be of a heart. So I chose a color and I'm going to paint a nice big heart. I'm trying to use a fair amount of paint because I don't want um, my paint to dry before I'm ready to paint it, uh, print it. When I'm finished with my purple, I'm going to put it in my cup of water, wash it out, wipe the bristles on the rim of the cup, and change to another color. Here's my paint palette, and I think I'm going to use warm colors to paint my heart, and I'll paint the outside of my heart with the cool colors. So warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, or the colors you see when you look at fire. Cool colors are blues and purples and even greens, the colors you think of when you look at the ocean or icicles. I painted the background area using cool colors, and now I think I'd like to add some patterns to my heart. Right now I filled in the spaces, but perhaps I can go ahead and maybe add some lines into sections of my heart or dots. Once you're happy with your picture, then it's time to print it. So in order to do that, I'm going to get my paper again. And this time, I'm going to turn it over and I need a damp sponge. So you'll have a bowl of water at your table. I'm going to dip my sponge into the water and then I'm gonna squeeze all of the water out of it. I should not see anything dripping from my sponge. I'm going to rub my paper with my damp sponge. It shouldn't be so wet that it's shining, but I should be able to see that it's a little bit wet. I'll turn my paper over, carefully place it on top of my picture or my painting, press it down. Then I'll get my sponge again and rub the back of it. As I'm rubbing, my painting is transferring to my paper. 
I can even start to see my picture coming through or showing through the paper. I got a little bit more water on my sponge and my image gets a little bit clearer. After I've rubbed a little bit, I can even pick up one corner and see if it's transferring. It's looking pretty good. I might rub for one more moment. Now, if I add too much water, my picture will become blurry. So I don't want to add too much, but you should be able to lightly see your image through the paper. I'll pick up my painting or my print with two hands. Take a look. Now, of course, once you're finished, you're gonna put your picture on the drying rack. I just wanted to show you mine before I carefully carry it with two hands to the drying rack. Now I can use my sponge, wipe the paint off of my desk. You could return this sponge to the red bucket and if we have time, you could create a second print. For my second print, I chose to create a picture of a fish. Now, printmaking is interesting because some things are gonna happen that you don't anticipate, that you don't intend. For example, my red paint was pretty thick and when I press down on it, it looks like it's spread out. That's okay. If you don't use enough water, then some parts of your picture might transfer, might not transfer totally. That's okay. Next week, we're gonna add more special things to our pictures to finish them off. So we're gonna have an open mind. We're going to be flexible. If this is the first time you're doing printmaking, you might run into problems and that's normal. Try not to get upset. We'll learn from it and then we'll try it again. I can't wait to see what you create.